Hello, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video, and today I'm predicting the IGCSE Ad Maths exam for May 2025, paper one on the 19th of May and the 27th of May. And to keep these up to date, I only take the last 17 papers, so you're getting the very most accurate predictions and seeing any trends that are going on. So first of all, we have permutations and combinations on paper one, a little bit down 88%, but still in the almost certain category here. This is a very typical kind of question. It could be a pass word, it could be a word, it could be people in a row, that kind of context. So making sure you're really up to date with this and definitely one of the more difficult topics. I did do a video on permutation combinations for A level paper five, which is very similar. You can check that out above. Radian measure at 65%, so no change. Usually appears on one of the papers, that's why we're up 65%. Again, this is a very typical question, working out perimeter, so arc length and also areas as well. On to logs, no change at 118%. It absolutely scattered all across the IGCC AdMass curriculum. And this is a good example here. So you need to know your change base rule in order to solve these logarithmic equations. Then we're on to graph sketching. Again, a very important skill at AdMass at A level at IB. So something that even if it wasn't so high percentage wise is a really important topic to know. And you need to be able to sketch all kinds of functions. Here we have a cubic function that you need to be able to sketch. Trig identities, again, up here slightly at 94%, always been a big topic. Also at AdMaths, again, knowing your identities, knowing how to work with cosec and sec is also important, which is slightly different to A-level, and being able to manipulate these comfortably. Quadratic, slightly down 88%. However, it does kind of sneak into lots of different topics, much more complicated than the standard IGCSE. Knowing your third rules as well, making sure you can use exact form too. And differentiation, no surprise, this is really high at 135%, making sure you can differentiate your natural logs and making sure you can use the product and quotient rules. Integration also, it's twin, I like to call it, is also up here at 118%, also very, very important. So you'd be able, you need to be able to work with fractions here and be able to integrate and be able to use that with the natural log form. And here are the percentages of how frequently these topics do come up. Again, I've gone through the most important here. Sequence and series, which I haven't mentioned, is also now in, in the certain category at 105%. So making sure you've revised that thoroughly. And on to paper two, which is where the factor theorem usually appears. But again, it's been spread more now on paper one and paper two. This is a good example of it. If you see the word polynomial and show a root of, then you know these trigger words are meaning you have to use the factor theorem. Logs, again, I told you it was a very important topic, slightly less on paper two than paper one, but still important, and also be able to work with these index equations. Sequence and series, again, up on the paper two, so at 76%, again, usually one big question on at least one of the papers. Again, this is a very typical idea here with a geometric progression, and remember that to know your sum to infinity formula. Trig identities, again, big on both, so if there's probably one big topic to revise, it's probably trig and then also the calculus as well. And again, knowing how to manipulate identities is really important, and that's usually followed up with some kind of equation solving. I've done a big video on this kind of topic, and I'll put that above. Quadratics, again, 129%. Again, sometimes you'll have to manipulate them, so actually put them into a form that you can solve afterwards. Differentiation is huge on paper two. Again, this is a very typical question. As soon as you start seeing things like gradient of normal, you know there's gonna be some different. And integration, it's twin, of course. Again, very typical kind of idea here. So on paper one, paper two, the integration doesn't really um, change too much. But again, you just need to be able to revise those big calculus topics. And again, you've got all the frequencies here. Again, don't forget about vectors. That is something that's uh, particular to add math. So making sure you revise that again at 70%, as well as kinematics. So I haven't talked about that much in this video, but they're still important topics. And again, even though linearizing graphs is generally just a sometimes topic, if it appears you don't want to be ambushed. And if you want to revise all of IGCSC AdMass, then do check out the video right in front of you where I go through the biggest topics on the course. And in that two hours, you can revise a lot of material.